Welcome to this eGrow plant diagnostic video. Hi, I'm Brian Whipker, a professor of floriculture at North Carolina State University. In this video, we will focus on phosphorus deficiency of poinsettias. So let's get started. First of all, I would like to start by thanking the Fred C. Glockner Foundation for supporting this project. The focus of this video is phosphorus. Phosphorus is an essential element for plant growth. Low fertilization levels can be used to control excessive stem stretch. While phosphorus can be limited to control growth, there's a point where deficiency symptoms will appear. That is the focus of this video. Typical symptoms first appear on the older or lower leaves. With cool growing conditions, the leaves develop a purple colorization. The plants may also have an overall darker green colorization. With warm growing conditions, the symptoms are different. On the lower leaves, a yellow discoloration develops. Over time, the yellowing will expand and a leaf spotting can occur. Many of the leaf spots also have a dark green center. With severe symptoms, the yellow areas can turn necrotic. Similar symptoms were observed with these plants grown in an experiment when phosphorus was withheld. As you can see, the lower leaves are yellow and there's also the spotting that's occurring. If you have problems with phosphorus deficiencies, what do you do? The simple answer is to increase the phosphorus fertilization rate. This can be done with a single application of 201020. For example, if 200 parts per million nitrogen is applied, that will provide 44 parts per million phosphorus. For continuous fertilization, a low phosphorus formula such as 13213 cow mag can also be used. A good target level of phosphorus in the substrate is between 5 and 10 parts per million, especially if you're trying to limit the amount of stem stretch on poinsettias. Also note that root rot can also limit phosphorus uptake, so be sure to check the root system to make sure there's no root rot occurring. In summary, phosphorus is the main nutrient which influences plant stretch. It can be withheld to help control excessive growth but a baseline level needs to be supplied to plants or deficiency symptoms will appear.